Hello there. Welcome back to another video. Like I said last time, today I will be talking about uh, the cycles of time and how the magic frequencies fit into the cycles of time. You will see the magic frequencies, what I have decided to call the magic frequencies, the sacred frequencies, whatever you want to call them is up to you. You will see that they all harmonize with the cycles of time. They all harmonize with all the cycles of nature really, but Let's do one thing at a time and start with the cycles of time. So let's just get into it. I'll just be, be, be reading a whole bunch of numbers to you like I have been doing a lot so far and I'll keep doing that, doing that uh, quite a bit for the next few videos. I promise you, I promise you in the end it will all come together and it will all make sense. I suggest for now that you write these numbers down and you get familiar with them and you will see how the same numbers repeat themselves over and over again. As always, if you want to know it all right away, you can always buy my book. I will link my website down here. Click that and, uh, and then you click my book and you will find it. It's on Amazon. The link is for Amazon.com but you can use Amazon.co.uk all the other Amazons out there, it's available everywhere, as far as I know. Okay, let's begin. Like we said, the magic frequencies harmonize with the cycles of nature and the cycles of time, and there are many units to measure time, of course, but we will, the smallest one we will deal with here is the second, and the biggest one we'll deal with here is what is called a great year. I will come back to that, what exactly that means. Let's begin. One second is historically defined as one eighty-six thousand four hundredth of a solar day. A solar day is the time it takes for the Earth to spin once around its own axis. Which means that in 24 hours there are 86,400 seconds. Meaning that in 12 hours there, will be, there, there is um, 43,200 seconds. We already know the numbers 864 and 432. If you don't, I suggest you watch my previous videos and you will get to know these numbers. If you haven't watched the previous videos, then this probably won't make much sense. Okay, let's just start listing everything, all the numbers and all the time cycles. In one minute, there are 60 seconds. 60, as we know, is a significant number. It can also be interpreted as 6, for example. Remember Nikola Tesla's quote, if you want to understand the, the universe or the, the workings of the universe, look at the numbers 3, 6 and 9. In 2 minutes there are 120 seconds. We can be interpreted as 12, as 3, twice as much as 60 and so on. In 3 minutes there are 180 seconds, 180 is half of 360, as we know it's a very uh, significant number in geometry for example. In 4 minutes there are 240 seconds, 1 octave above 120, 2 octaves above 60. In 5 minutes there are 300 seconds, can be interpreted as 3 or 30, all significant numbers. In 6 minutes there are 360 seconds, we have already looked at this a little bit. Uh, in 6 minutes there are 360 seconds, 360 is an F sharp note in 432 tuning. In 7 minutes there are 420 seconds, all you 420 people out there, maybe you'll get excited about this, I don't know, I don't know, I haven't seen any connection there really, but uh, you never know. In 8 minutes there are 480 seconds, 1 octave above 240. In 9 minutes there are 540 seconds, 540 is a C sharp note in 432 tuning, it can also be read as 54, which is a highly significant and sacred number. Also 54 is half or 108, a number we, we know very well by now, should know pretty well by now. In 10 minutes there are 600 seconds, another, another 6 or 60. In 11 minutes there are uh, 660 seconds. Once again we see all the 6s, it can be interpreted as 66, so it can be interpreted as uh, 6 plus 6 is 12, e and 1 plus 2 equals 3, the Pythagorean reduction that I've talked about. 
In 12 minutes there are 720 seconds. We see the 72, half of 144 and one octave above 360. I'm gonna stop at 12. After 12 it gets a little bit more complicated because all the dissonant frequencies are also in there. I'll get to that in a, in a future video. For now, let's look at the hours. In one hour there are 60 minutes and, 36, uh, and 3600 seconds. Another 60, another 36 or 360. In two hours there are 120 minutes and 7200 seconds. Another 12, another 120 or 3, and another 72. In three hours there are 180 minutes and 10,800 seconds. Another 18 or 108. It can be interpreted several ways, but it's the same numbers again and again. In four hours there are 240 minutes and uh, 14,400 seconds. Again, the 144 is a D note in 432 tuning. In five hours there are 300 minutes and 18,000 seconds. In 6 hours there are 360 minutes and 21,600 uh, seconds. 216, we already know, half of uh, 432, one octave below. In 7 hours there are 420 minutes and 25,200 seconds. The 7th harmonic, once again, stands out a little bit. I will have to do a whole uh, video in itself uh, regarding this. In uh, 8 hours there are 480 minutes and uh, 28,800 seconds. 288 is one octave above uh, 144. In 9 hours there are 540 minutes and 32,400 32, seconds. We see the 540 or 54 once again. We also see the 324 which is, one, uh, which is the perfect 5th harmonic of 216, which is one octave below 432. So the perfect fifth of 432 is 648, 648 which is twice as much as 320, 324, one octave below. Well, this is uh, quite a bit. That's why I'm reading, because uh, there's no way I won't mess this up if I'm not. Uh, in 10 hours there are 600 minutes and 36,000 seconds. In 11 hours there are 660 minutes and uh, 39,600 seconds. This is the 11th harmonic. It also stands out a little bit. It will be like the 7th harmonic. It will be a whole video in itself sometime in the future. I have so many videos that I need to make. You have no idea. Uh, in 12 hours there are 720 minutes and 43,200 seconds. Okay, once again, just notice, just write the numbers down and notice how they repeat themselves. By the time we get to the end of this video series, it will make sense. Let's go a little bit further. Let's look at the days. In one day there are 24 hours, uh, 1440 minutes and 86,400 seconds and the, the earth rotates 360 degrees. In two days there are 48 hours, 2,880 minutes and 17,000, uh, wait, wait, and uh, 172,800 seconds. In three days there are 72 hours, 4,320 minutes and 259,200 seconds. 25,920 years is called one great year and it's one full cycle of the precession of the equinoxes. Another thing I will get back to. In four days there are 96 hours, 5,760 minutes and 345,600 seconds. 576 is one octave above 288. In five days there are 120 hours, 7,200 minutes and 432,000 seconds. In six days there are 144 hours, 8,640 minutes and 518,400 seconds. In seven days, what we call a week and one quarter of a lunar cycle, is 168 hours uh, 10,080 minutes, 
108 and 604,800 seconds. Another 6, 648. One perfect fifth, the perfect fifth of 432. I hope you're beginning to see a pattern here. I hope it makes at least a little bit of sense. Let's look at the month in one lunar month with 28 days. Four weeks, 28 days and 672 hours. Two lunar months, uh, eight weeks, 56 days and 1344 hours, 1344 hours. In three months, there are 12 weeks, 84 days and 216, uh, 2016 hours. 84 is a significant number in yoga. There are 84 original asanas. In four months, lunar months, uh, 16 weeks, 112 days, and 20, 2,688 hours. 112 is another significant number in yoga. There are There is said to be 112 chakras in the body. 112 ways to enlightenment and so on. In five lunar months, there are 20 weeks, 140 days, and 3,360 3, hours. In six months, there are 24 weeks, 168 days, and 4,032 hours. Seven months, 28 weeks, 196 days, 4,704 hours. In eight months, 32 weeks, 224 days, 5,376 hours. Nine months, 36 weeks, 252 days, 6,048 hours. 10 months, 40 weeks, 280 days, 6,720 hours. In 11 lunar months, there are 44 weeks, 308 days, 7,392 hours. You notice I'm not doing the seconds in this because it just becomes too much. I urge you to do the math yourself. I'm leaving a lot of uh, stuff blank here. I can't do it all because there are so many numbers and so many cycles to deal with. I'm just doing a rough overview, you could say. 12 lunar months, 48 weeks, 336 days and 8,064 hours, 864, 12, so on. Okay, what we call one full year. The Earth orbits the Sun one time. 13 lunar months, 52 weeks, 364 days, and 8,736 hours. We're almost done for now. We are never done in reality, but you know. Okay, let's see. 864. 864. One octave above 432. One, uh, 864 lunar months is 72 years, and the Earth moves one degree in the zodiacal uh, constellations. Zodiac constellations. 25,920 lunar months is 2,160 years, and the Earth moves 30 degrees in the zodiac constellation. And this is called one zodiacal age. 25,920 years is 12 zodiacal ages, it's called one great year, and it's one full cycle in the precession of the equinoxes, like I mentioned earlier, I think. And these numbers are all, are all significant, they're all related to the sacred frequencies, or they are the sacred frequencies, the magic frequencies. We can look at a few examples, we can take um, 2592, 2592, and divide it by 12, which is 216, uh, 2,920 uh, 2, divided by 9 is 288. Uh, 2,592 divided by 8 is 324. Divided by 6 is 432. Divided by 4 is 648. Divided by 3 is 864. Divided by 2 is 1296. Okay. I think that's enough for now. Like I said, write these numbers down, get familiar with them, look at the previous videos, get my book if you want to know it all right now. And again, I promise you this will all make sense at some point in time, 
but it will take some time. Be patient. Thank you so much for watching. I'll be back in about a week with a new video looking at more, uh, more magic frequencies and how they relate to ancient architecture, for example. And yeah, thank you for supporting me. Keep playing my music in Spotify and iTunes, here on YouTube. Uh, I'm on Bandcamp. You can get my book. I'll link my website down below. And if you click that, you will find everything. Also, I'm in social media, Instagram, daily updates, almost. Facebook, you name it. I'm there. Come find me. And please, I'm interested in feedback, as always. Comment below. Anything, questions, critique, praise, it's all welcome. Thank you once again. I'll see you in about a week. <laughs>